Hi everyone, welcome to Left Undone Incomplete Investigations. I'm Catherine, nice to see you all here, welcome. We are going to continue to look at some of these text messages from Zalema. We've covered the Zalema and Chad where apparently Chad told Zalema that Lucifer was banned from Arizona, so everything is cool. The more I follow these text messages and the more I listen to them, the more my mind just can't wrap around what happened to those children. These people had the most bizarre belief system that I've ever, ever heard of in real life. To me, it seems very morbid, very grim, very evil. Clearly it is evil because look at the outcome. We have JJ and Tylee gone forever. We have Tammy and Charles gone forever. Based on their belief, Chad was trying to get himself, a, in my opinion, Chad was trying to get himself a little harem going on. Well, as I read these text messages, it really does seem like that. And Chad was full of baloney. Unfortunately, naive people fell for it. And the worst part of it is children are dead because of it. So as we read these text messages, yes, I am a little sarcastic at times and laugh because it's so hard to even imagine, but at the same time, deeply saddened for the outcome of this stupid belief system. Welcome to Left Undone Incomplete Investigations. I'm Catherine. If you're new, please subscribe. Go back, watch the playlist from the beginning if you don't know this case, because there is a lot to know to catch up to this part. Otherwise, just listen in and see if it interests you. February 5th, 2019 at 11.39 a.m. from Zalema to Lori. Here comes the wind. I casted him from my third eye. I created shields around my third eye, my body and my property. He won't be coming around anymore. Hocus pocus. Same day, February 5th, 2019, Lori to Zalema, 11.47 a.m. That's good, but sad too, I know. We will really have to stick together since we can't have friends anymore. Zalema replies, right? I feel like my inner circle is getting smaller, but I'm okay with that too. Next day, February 6, 2019, 9.27 a.m., Chad said that Jerry can even block my gifts just by me texting him. Can you believe it? Okay, chatty daddy. Uh, clearly, Chad was trying to get all men away from all these women, and they fell for it. I mean, obviously, Jerry and Zoma had a thing, and then Chad's getting himself in the middle of it, trying to make sure that Zoma knows, like, oh, that Jerry, he's blocking your gifts, and lucky you're not married to him like all the other Arizona girls are got going on. Yeah, Chad, here's what happened to you. February 6, 2019, Lori replies to Zalema at 4.06 p.m. Yes, because I'm dealing with the same thing all the time talking about Charles. Zalema replies, yes, and you're married to him, which is worse. We will conquer. Extreme team. Da, 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 da. Sorry, but they sound like they're playing a video game for real. Lori replies, thanks, Zalema. I needed that. And I'm typing out just how she had it typed, so she spelled Zalema wrong. If the punctuation's out there, that's because that's the way they had it. Zalema replies to Lori, love you, sister. Lori to Zalema, love you too. Same day, February 6, 2019, Zalema to Lori. What was it that you said in your letter to the first presidency when you requested a temple cancellation? Lori replies, I told them that I couldn't. I told them that I could tell them the whole sad story, but I know they have the power to, of discernment to know what needed to be decided. Next morning, February 8th, from Zalema to Lori, 8.01 a.m., Thank you. I have to write another letter explaining my prior divorces. I just got to the temple. I'll be here until about 10. I hope to see you if you can come. 10 minutes later at 8.15, Zalema to Lori, I just got to the temple. I'll be here till 10 a.m. If you're able to come, look for me in the celestial room. 
February 13th, 2019, 10.05 a.m., Zalema to Lori. Hey, beautiful. I just had an energy session with my friend Stacy. She was able to take the mental, she was able to take the metal cage that was put around me to block me from visions. She cut the cords and destroyed all the records he was keeping of me. I am sharing this with you because she may be able to help you too. Ooh, help and get rid of that Jerry dude, right? Now she can help with Charles for Lori. So nice. What a nice friend. And Zalema reassures her by saying, I will create a storm and bring protection to you. These people think they are this powerful. I just, my mind is boggled, you guys. I mean, seriously, this is just unfreaking believable how they believe this reality or how they believe this is reality. February 19th, 2019, 10, 19 p.m., Zalema sends a YouTube video clip to Lori that we can't access, so we don't know what it says. But she texts underneath it, me trying to work with the elements, LOL, again. Remember that margarine commercial, you can't fool Mother Nature? That's what I picture in my head here. Same day, 10.54 p.m., Lori texts Zalema, I saw a scripture today on Abraham that talks about commanding the elements, them waiting for them to respond. Elements might respond in the winter if you make this request in the summer. Imagine that, like ask for a winter storm. And there it is, months and months later. How weird is that? Zalema did it though. She's very powerful. March 2nd, 2019, Zalema to Lori. I have a question for you. If our bodies start changing and I'm menopausal, does that mean that my body will get out of menopause and go back to a normal cycle? March 2nd, 2019, 8.43 a.m., Lori to Zalema. That's an interesting question because I was starting to slow down in that regard, but now they're like 20-year-old periods now. I don't have a great answer for that. I'm doing research, but there's not a lot to go on right now. Good question for mother. Who's mother? One minute later, Lori replies again. Serena and I are both going backward in that regard, like exactly the same. Does anyone feel like they're sitting in the middle of middle school girls talking about their periods and that they got one or they didn't get one or no one knew that or how do you put a tampon in or what? I mean, are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. Do you all remember that? Some of you are too young, but seriously, this is what it seems like. Zalema replies, oh yes, I'll ask her. I stopped having periods last year. I was already done. Now I'm back to having regular periods. Regular, bright, heavy, and with cramps. Like way before I went through menopause. Lori's turn. Yes, that's me. It started yesterday and it's crazy. Cramps, pain, and heavy and bright. They're getting worse, not better. I wonder what that's about. Um, it's about you've lost your marbles. And yeah, I just don't even know what to say about this conversation right here. I just don't. Then Lori again. This is crazy. Our bodies are really changing. Then Zalema replies. It reminded me of when I was a teenager kind of period. Yes, they are. What's the rate at which we change? Lori texts back, four days younger every day. Clearly, this came from Chatty Daddy. Zalema, wow. Then Lori replies, I know, right? Wow. Zalema then says, when did you start? Yesterday? I'm assuming she's talking about her period. And Lori says, yes. Oh my God, it's like, I, it, I, I, never mind. I don't even know what to say. I don't even have anything to say about this conversation. I don't. Zalema then asks Lori, you? Lori replies, after we joined hands at the temple. Then Lori also says, me too. Lori again, it's horribly crampy and heavy. Ugh. Zalema replies, what? Oh my, me too. Same here. Lori then texts, a similitude of the only begotten at the temple. More Lori. It reminds us that we belong to Jesus. Then she asks Zalema, 
When did you have the first one after the year of none? And Zulema replies, yesterday was my first one. Zulema replies to Lori, no, you are so powerful, a powerful goddess that can do this and so much more. I felt the power from your hand. It pulsated energy into mine. Lori responds, we are becoming one. We have important things to do, and the time is now to get started. We will succeed. You are amazing. Now, mind you, this conversation, this text message has been going on for over an hour between them. And it is, okay, I'll keep going. Zalema then says, Namaste. The goddess in me recognizes the goddess in you. I love you so much, and I am grateful that Heavenly Father brought us together. Lori to Zalema, me too. You are a powerful goddess and you lift me. We have worked together for eons and I'm so grateful for you. Three days later, March 5th, 2019, texting resumes. Zalema to Lori at 1.49 p.m. I had a super weird and dark dream last night. I was laying down like on a beach with my body barely underwater. I had tentacles going all over my body. I could see the tentacles. They were black. Then it appeared that the tentacles had passed, except for some that were left on the back of my thighs. I kept feeling them so much that it woke me up. I woke up casting out. I'm not sure what that was, but it was definitely dark. What do you think? Lori replies at 1.56 p.m. Sounds dark like they are trying to attach darkness to you. But you are too powerful. You will be triumphant. I know it. Be strong, my sister. So Zalema decides this is more of a question for Chad. So she texts Chad the same day, March 5th, 2019. And she says, I had a super weird and dark dream last night. I was laying like on a beach with my body barely underwater. I had tentacles going all over my back. I could see the tentacles. They were black. Then it appeared that the tentacles had passed, except for some that were left on the back of my thighs. I kept feeling them so much that it woke me up. I woke up casting out, not sure what that was, but it was definitely dark. Could you see if they attached darkness or a weapon to me, Chad? Same day at 6.03 p.m., Chad replies, I removed some dark creatures that were still attached to your aura. They were like leeches trying to suck out your light energy. The next morning at 8, 10 a.m., Salema replies to Chad, I could feel them. Thank you for helping me. I feel so blessed and grateful to know you. Lord Salema. <laughs> After that, she decided to report this back to Lori, March 6, 2019 at 8, 13 a.m which I'm surprised didn't piss Lori off because remember, she was starting to get annoyed with those other girls and kick them out because they were texting Chad too much. Can you imagine all these texts coming at Chad like this? They had to put some dark creatures that were still attached to your aura. They were like leeches trying to suck out my light energy. Chad had to remove them from me. I could feel them yesterday. My energy was low. I had body pains and I felt disconnected. Then Lori replies at 9.01 a.m., I'm so glad they are gone. I know what that's like. Are you better today? The same day, a few minutes later, Zalema replies to Lori, yes, much better. I feel like myself again. Ten minutes later, Zalema continues to Lori, isn't it interesting that I felt tentacles and they were leeches? There's learning here. We have to start recognizing the attacks, the symbols, and what they mean. Lori texts back, we are getting stronger and the veil thinner so we can fight. All right, well, that's it for this set of text messages. And believe me, there's more. And I will be going over the next set that I review. I am just, you know, when I look at all this, I just, I just blows my mind that this is real life. And these people really believe that that dork, that chud, that Chad, that Chins, that guy, that dork, <laughs> what else can I call him? Potato head. That potato head 
had this power over these women to think he was literally this guru that was going to run the world. I knew him and was working with him. I did not view him as a cult leader because he never was like that when I was around him. Tell me what you think in the comments below because I want to know how you think, what you think. Have this blind trust in a human that really has nothing to offer based on him telling them that he's some spiritual guru. I don't get it. Second Peter 2 But false prophets also arose among the people, just as there will be false teachers among you who will secretly bring in destructive heresies, even denying the master who bought them, bringing upon themselves swift destruction. And many will follow their sensuality, and because of them the way of truth will be blasphemed. And in their greed they will exploit you with false words. Their condemnation from long ago is not idle, and their destruction is not asleep. For if God did not spare angels when they sinned, but cast them into hell, and committed them to chains of gloomy darkness to be kept until the judgment, if he did not spare the ancient world, but preserved Noah, a herald of righteousness, with seven others, when he brought a flood upon the world of the ungodly, if by turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah to ashes, he condemned them to extinction, making them an example of what is going to happen to the ungodly. And if he rescued... Okay, so what do you think? Zalama's insane. She's very naive, and she believes a bunch of baloney. Lori, I have no idea where to go with Lori at this point still. But Lori knew very well that she was involved in something terrible. Whether she's incompetent to stand trial or not, there are consequences for her actions. And Chad, man, I would like to see him go sit on death row. We'll continue this. There's so much more um, going through them and I will bring them to you as I can. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and see you soon.